And, um, you anoint my head with oil, my cup overflows. You know, Samuel anointed his head with oil, but now he he realizes God's been anointing me over and over and over till it just overflows. That this oil is something that's going to um, kind of separate him for God, you know, make him one of God's. And he loves the oil being poured over him to to kind of just point him out and say, you are mine, you are mine, you are mine. And he, he loves that relationship he has with God. And then it says, surely goodness and love will follow me all the days of my life, and I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. You know that um, that word follows me? I um, read somewhere that this can also be interpreted as chase after me or pursue me. And so he believes that God's goodness and love is chasing after him and pursuing him. David knew God's favor. That's such a beautiful picture to Mm -hmm. think that God's mercy and goodness is chasing us. Yes. And I think that's right. And I think that when we get caught in the seasons of our life where we're questioning or maybe times of struggle, it's I think we can look back and see that. I think see some of that, how goodness and mercy has followed us and chased mm-hmm. us a little bit. Yeah. We might not have been quick to respond at times, but if, but I think when we look back, it, it's good. It's good for me to look back and realize mm-hmm. the many ways that God's been faithful in his goodness. Yeah. And so, you know, this Psalm 23, it's it's just such a beautiful poem or part of his journal I guess that we get to read and so I, I love that um, we're memorizing it and trying to write it on our hearts so. yeah and I think it means so much that David was a shepherd I mean like for you you might write since you're a teacher you might write the Lord is my teacher yeah you know like you teach students but then you think the Lord's my teacher he tells me to sit still or he tells me to do you know as right. a, as a yeah. teacher you can think of the ways, the things that you do for your students that the Lord is doing for you, you know, or those moments when you get to see your student get something for the first time. So I just love that the shepherd is saying, I'm the sheep, like you said. Yeah. Thanks for listening and journeying with us on this side of the ceiling. See you next time.